I'm Kevin. Welcome to my cave. A viewer commented on my recent episode about Knop Amp Integrator, asking, isn't an integrator just a low-pass filter? I thought that deserved a more detailed reply than I could put in a comment thread. Let's compare the two. Here I've drawn a first-order low-pass filter and an integrator with exactly the same component values. The RC time constant is about 260 microseconds. Equivalently, the critical frequency is about 600 hertz. As you can see in the schematic, the difference is that the filter has the capacitor to ground, while the integrator has the capacitor in the feedback loop. Both circuits have parallel resistors to provide a zero DC bias across the capacitor. It's an easy circuit to breadboard. The low pass filter is on one amp of a dual lap amp IC, and the integrator is on the other. The schematic is on the project GitHub. There's a link down in the doobly doo. We'll compare them with a graphical tool called a Bode plot. A Bode plot is actually a pair of plots. Both of them have frequency on the horizontal axis on a log scale. The first one measures the gain or loss of the circuit, also on a log scale. Usually the units are decibels. Remember that 20 decibels represents a factor of 10 in voltage. The other one measures the difference in phase, the amount by which the output signal leads or lags the input. I've thrown together a program that produces these plots. It works by commanding my function generator to step through a series of frequencies while simultaneously adjusting the vertical and horizontal scales of my oscilloscope to frame the waveform. That gives me the lowest possible quantization error, since I can scale the wave to more or less fill the dynamic range of the scope. The program then estimates the amplitude and phase of the input and output signals. I won't get into the detailed math of how to get these numbers, but the source code is on the project GitHub. Over the period of a few minutes, the program has stepped through the whole audio spectrum and accumulated the plot. I can then move my scope probe and capture the plot of the other circuit. Now we can compare the curves. We'll start by looking at the low-pass filter. In theory, the gain should start out at zero for a band of low frequencies and transition smoothly to a curve that drops 20 decibels per decade, starting at the critical frequency. At the critical frequency, there should be three decibels of loss. So how did we do when we measured it? It looks as if the circuit fits the theory pretty well. Over on the phase side, we expect that the output will be in phase with the input at DC, and lag the input by 90 degrees at high frequencies. It should transition smoothly. At the critical frequency, we expect it to lag by 45 degrees. Let's see how we did. It's fairly close. My only misgiving is here at the high frequency end, where the phase jumps around. It could be just noise, but the regular steps suggest I could have a bug in my code at phase shifts near 90 degrees. It's not really important to this discussion, so I'm going to plow forward and look into the software later. I'll put an update on the project GitHub if I find anything. Moving on to the integrator, Ferry predicts that it will have the same 20 decibel per decade roll-off. The phase should be a constant 90 degree lag. Well, obviously, the gain can't go up to infinity as the frequency goes down to DC. When we look at the waveforms, we see that what has happened is that the output signal from the integrator has reached the limits of the op-amp, and the signal is starting to clip. The lower the frequency, the worse the clipping becomes. That makes the detected amplitude fall off, and makes the phase go all wonky there as well. 
Once again, I think I might have a bug calculating phases, but they're surely starting somewhere close to the 90 degree lag and getting forced close to the phase of the input signal as the output starts to clip. So, in summary, when we compare the low pass filter and the integrator, they both have gains that fall off at the same 20 decibel per decade rate. But the low pass filter has a nice flat response curve at low frequencies, while the integrator gain keeps going up and up until the signal clips. So the integrator isn't terribly useful as a low pass filter. That's not what it's designed to do. I hope this answers the viewer's question. For all the rest of you, I hope that if you like the information, you'll tell the algorithm that with a thumbs up and maybe favor me with a subscription. There's lots more coming up on this channel about elementary op amp circuits like these, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, stay curious, and take care of one another. Bye!